unacceptable. That's the word from the CEO of the Boston Bruins, Charlie Jacobs. Frustrated, disappointed. Those are the words from the president of the Bruins, Cam Neely. And trust me, you don't want to hear what the fans are saying, with good reason. These days in Boston, the only thing more frustrating than the weather is the performance of the Boston Bruins. As a result, there is now a real possibility this team is going to miss the playoffs. Amazing, especially when you consider these are the same Boston Bruins who in the last three years have won two conference championships and a Stanley Cup. But it would appear the party is over. And because of that, at the trade deadline, Boston is now expected to be a seller. This season, despite the six goals they scored in Chicago, the Bruins are still 21st in NHL scoring, and they do not have a single player in the top 75. And that gets us to the elephant in the middle of that dressing room. Tyler Sagan of the Dallas Stars. The same Tyler Sagan that Peter Torelli traded away two years ago. The same Tyler Sagan who, until he was injured, was fighting for the NHL scoring title. A big piece of that trade was Louis Erickson. And here's where the words unacceptable and frustrated and disappointed start to find a home. In his first two seasons in Boston, Erickson has scored a grand total of, get this, 24 goals? Not much for a player making four and a half million dollars a year. These days, the most active player is general manager Peter Torelli. He's on the phone, making moves, trying to score deals, and above all, he's trash talking. Trust me, tomorrow night in Boston, the biggest game will not be the one that's getting played on the ice.